no fab for reunion. Has and Meg snubbed as William and Kate skip meeting them during US tour. Kate Middleton and Prince William are expected to embark on a royal tour of the states next year and with the news, many have speculated whether the Fab Four will have a grand reunion. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, both 39, announced their US tour which is set to take place next year after Prince William's Earthshot Prize ceremony last month. The monumental visit will mark the first time the Cambridges have visited the US since their official visit to New York in 2014. However, along with the exciting news of a royal tour, speculation over a reunion has been rife and a royal expert has revealed his thoughts on the matter. Duncan Larkham, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, stated he does not believe a reunion will take place during the visit. He told OK Magazine, an American trip was inevitable because they're our closest ally, but it's tricky because as things stand, there's no way on earth that Prince William would want to share any part of an official royal tour representing the Queen, Britain and the Commonwealth with Prince Harry. What we are seeing are increasing signs that Harry and Meghan are setting themselves up almost as a satellite royal family in America. Meghan trades on her title to try to influence major political figures in America. Harry is still Prince Harry and is able to be whisked around New York like they were recently, as though nothing has changed. But of course they're not royals and what, we're being told by palace officials, won't happen, is for Harry and Meghan to join William and Kate for any official part of this visit. The royal expert continued to reveal Kate and William's visit is being organized in an official royal capacity, which means protocol will be followed. He continued, we don't know the details of the trip yet but last time William and Kate went to America, they went to a red carpet event with rising stars of British film in LA. Even if there's an event arranged in LA this time, I'm told that Harry and Meghan wouldn't be a part of it unless they were invited separately and privately. So there's going to be no reunion of the Fab Four, that's for certain. There will be a lot of focus on the visit purely because of the rift between the two brothers. Royal expert Bronte Coy has revealed the moment it all went wrong for Prince Harry and Meghan following what could have been a very promising year for the Sussexes. As 2021 nears an end, many have started to reflect on the major events that captured the nation, and royal commentator Bronte Coy believes there was one moment in particular that cast Meghan and Harry in a negative light. The expert believes that the Sussexes were set for global domination at the start of the year but said it turned into a big fizzer after they appeared on opera. They made several damaging accusations towards the firm including allegations of racism, revealing the ins and outs of a feud with Kate Middleton and even spoke about being trapped by the institution. Make no mistake, that highly anticipated TV special was everything we could have hoped for, and more. Actually, much more. In fact. Too much, Coy wrote in News AU. Coy went on to say that that the pair were building an empire before their explosive interview and said they were on track to be a resounding success. Highlighting some major moments for Meghan and Harry once life had slowly started to return to normal with Covid, she said, deal after deal was announced. Their foundation was launched. Strategic and stunning photo ops began dropping into the daily news cycle. There was a Sussex buzz in the air. She added, that skyrocketed the moment they made history with their decision to cut themselves loose. And the Sussex buzz transitioned into a deafening roar as it was revealed that they'd sat down for a no-holds-barred interview with Oprah. But the expert pointed out that the royal family liked to keep their private lives under wraps which the Suzexes failed to do when appearing on the chat show. So the moment Harry and Meghan ripped back the curtain on the royal establishment in their TV tell-all, their shots didn't just hit the monarchy, they also backfired, she said.